Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been five months since I posted anything on my channel. Um, the last time I posted was um, that laptop, the Dell Inspiron 16 inches, model number 7610. Great laptop overall, great for everyday use, for school, for editing videos, pictures. Nice. There's a couple of things that are not good. We'll talk about it in another video, but for now, we'll focus on this laptop. It's a HP Pavilion gaming laptop. It's a 15.6 inches. Um, the story was my sister was looking for a for a for a school laptop. She gave me a $600 budget. I was looking around in our local area, Best Buy. Um, ABT, we have an ABT electronic store. And when I checked out Micro Center, I saw this. It was on sale for $650, originally $850. I immediately grabbed it because of the specs and it's priced aggressively. With the specs on this, you can never go wrong for $650 plus tax, $700. Um, without further ado, let's move into the specs. Um, it's not perfect, but for 650 and this specs, it's amazing. It's amazing. Okay. It's an HP Pavilion laptop, 15E C2121NR with a Ryzen 5 5600H APU. Um, it has a, I think, I believe it's a Radeon 7. Um, you can use that, but it has... Um, a GTX 1650 so you can you'll never use that even you game but it's better than nothing you know um, it has a 512 gig so SSD so I believe it's a NVMe even though it not it is not as fast as those Samsung Evo um, like that like that kind of brand it's fast enough for daily use at school you don't need those faster ones this is good enough and the downside is it only has 8 gigs. For a student, you might need an upgrade on this. But good thing is that I have an upgrade for that. I have that RAM, RAM kits for my old laptop. And we'll put it here. And we have a, um, a Windows 11. It's a Windows 11 um, built in. No optical drive. Students nowadays don't need that. If you want one, you can just grab a USB powered one. Plug it in from Amazon um 15.6 inches full hd 1080p basically ips it's important it's nice ips but it's only 250 nits brightness 250 nits it basically means it's not bright enough 250 at least it could have been 300 i would take it but for 600 with this kind of specs i don't think you're gonna you'll go wrong with this it has a bno audio it should be nice and the battery is a tree cell 52.5 watt hour it's not great but when you really do do school stuff it's good enough plugged in you know you can bring this anywhere the battery is quite decent in my opinion and it's 144 Hertz so you can game on this my sister sister wants to game so for this specs it can do work and work school and gaming it will not pump out really nice fps um like triple a titles you'll never see 100 plus fps on triple a titles but for like 40 50 fps it's good enough but when you play like those um counter strike um dota 2 or those non heavy graphics intensive games this will run really good 250 nits that's my issue and the uh, ram ram is solvable i already have a ram there but for this for the lit room when you're doing work at home school at home you don't really need that much to, unless you're outside i guess but yeah 600 dollars. let's open it up but before that let's check on the upgrades that i'll be making on this laptop and we have a this was from my old laptop it's a one terabyte 
H HDD hard drive. Um, this laptop has a, a space for um, upgrade, space upgrade for a 2.5 inches hard drive. So you can put an SSD or hard drive on this. And these RAM sticks I would add as an upgrade. It's a dual channel. And I did some research. This this laptops are dual rank. So it means it performs better than those one rank or I don't know one rank RAMs, RAM sticks. It's not as fast, it's only twenty four hundred megahertz, but it is free. I got it from my old laptop which and it's eight is better than sixteen for the daily use for Chrome usage and everything. And hey, I don't want to spend no more. <laughs> okay, let's open it up. There are um, yeah the usual laptop boxing um, foam for protection. Of course, you're gonna protect your item. Well, on one side, so got some paperwork. Put it aside. Yep, and like this. brick yep so nothing another paperwork this is a safety guide we don't really need these product information no you don't need that here it is I'm gonna zoom out a little bit I'm gonna zoom out a little bit okay The smell of one, uh, the smell of new technology, new electronics. So addicting. Make you broke. <laughs> smell of new electronics. Open it up for the first time. Let's check this out. Okay. As usual, this always protects it, so I'll put it inside. And let's see. You can open this with one hand. It's it's sturdy enough. Unlike the Victus HP Victus, have you heard of that laptop? It's not as good. It's a it's less wobbly. It's constructed really solid for for the price. Very solid. And as usual, I don't like this sticker. I believe you can just take it off without residual stuff in there. And some badges, the BNO, the Ryzen 5000 and the RTX 1650 badge. So let's open it up for the first time. I hope it has battery cuz I didn't plug it in. So, oh, there you go. It's well built. Um I don't think this is I don't think you can change the this co the color of this but it's better than nothing because I like I like right out uh, typing in the dark so when you type it in the dark you have something to see you know so I'll probably cancel this because I'm gonna check the ports on the side the on the right side of the map top we have an SD card reader and headphone combo jack and we have a USB-C port it is not Thunderbolt unfortunately but it does work on really well it doesn't give um quick charge for any device it's just there for storage we have an Ethernet port we have a USB 3.0 port and HDMI perfect for a student if you want to present 
um, on the left side we have the um, power power port charging port and we have the LED indicator um, and another USB 3.0 and that's about it for this device um, in my opinion it has enough USB 3 if you want you can put a dongle on it and it's just cheapo and behind here is just a big vent for that exhaust and in my opinion it has enough ports for a student especially the HDMI really help a lot for presentations and we move on to the next so here is the power brick it's actually quite nice it's not so heavy it's not so bulky perfect for moving around going to school doing work it's light enough and perfect um this is actually lighter than my Dell laptop but on the other hand this is just this is 150 and that is 130 and HV did a good job of making their power brick small enough to be around to carry around perfect for portability awesome and we move on to next when you try to take this out for an upgrade there's are there are four screws one two three four and on the front and one two and three on the back on the so these are the vents which is really, I like this kind of design really open it will help out you know the heat dissipation and everything but we, when you open this you have to um, unscrew this of course and then you need a prying tool like this you need to pry it this is from I fix it I bought for like five bucks a set so so I'm gonna upgrade the back the 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 RAM and I'm gonna add on a hard drive. So all you need to do is there's a YouTube video that shows how to upgrade this. I'm not gonna give you a thorough like guide on installing the RAM and the hard drive. So all you need to do is just screw here one, one, two, three, four, and another three here at the back, and then you have to pry it on the side here first. There's a USB that me. There's a, you have to pry it here first with a prying tool. Use plastic. Um, you can use a guitar pick. Anything that's not metal. That's good enough. You have to pry it here and then open it up. Slowly to the side until you open up all the way. So it's easy. I'm going to link down to that. There's a couple of videos, an upgrade videos a guide on this. So I'm going to start now. I'm going to put this on the side while I'm doing upgrades. Let me just, just put this up higher. There we go. That's better. All you need is um, pliers, I mean, screwdriver small tip you can you can buy these um, on Amazon for like 10 bucks make sure it's magnetic so you don't have trouble picking up little screws like the who fell and board motherboard so you just like stick it in and it will just stick in it's convenience basically make sure so here it is after prying it open on the side here to here and when you open it up this is the back of it this is where the RAM stick are RAM slots and the SSD NVMe um, M.2 this is this is the hard drive area a hard um, drive installation this is a dummy one you have to take it out screw on the side and the battery of course the fans the fans for the graphics card the cooler for the graphics card and the cpu and of course for safety you gotta based on the video i saw you gotta remove this battery here take it out so it won't run anything and then when you take that battery out you have to um, press the power button to short it out to to take any charge left in the board for safety so let's let's take this out first. Sticker. This is like um, it's like a film, like the anti-static film. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. 
Oh, it's only one stick of 8 gigs, actually. I highly doubt this is the second rank, but we'll see. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. I have confirmed that this RAM that came with the laptop is a single rank module. It says here one R8 times 8 PC4 at speeds of 3200. Unfortunately, we had a spare upgrade from the old laptop. It wasn't that faster. It was just a 2400 megahertz RAM, but a dual dual channel with a dual rank is better than this single. So I made a mistake earlier. I said 8 gigabytes is better than 16. It is 16 is better than 8. I want to correct that. So thank you. We move on to next. After the installation, um, I checked everything. I turned it on. Um, it saw the RAM sticks. Um, I, I checked the hard drive. It was able to detect the hard drive. And after that, just return everything what's supposed to. And make sure don't screw it in first when you check and then after you make sure that ram sticks and the hard drive is detected you screw in back everything crunch 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 on this make sure you like crunch it in and that's it screw it back turn it on again so you have to install the windows 11. to enter bios you have to um press f10 press f10 and it will say F10 but um, let me remind you guys after he installed the installed the RAM and everything um, when you first turn it on again there's a um, there's there's a warning that it will show I'll show it to you in the I'll show it to you on my after I edit this video it's just basically says that you have to go to the BIOS and check everything everything is detected and that should be it And restart, restart, turned off, and screen back again. That's the process. And as you can see here, the 16 gigs memory. Perfect. Okay. So when you uh, reformat this, you have to go to the boot, of course, boot options. You go to, um, you're going to select this USB flash drive to be up the top. So it says here, press, press F6. So highlight that and then press F6, F6, so make sure at the top and then just go to exit, save, yeah. Don't worry about the Windows key for this because usually as far as I know, um, the Windows key on these laptops already built in to the motherboard. Basically the motherboard just has its own like ser uh, Windows key already so you don't have to worry about you don't have to worry about looking for where is it it's baked in the motherboard so here it is guys um, after installation of Windows 11 I didn't refresh Windows 11 um, I sep downloaded a separate USB installed it here because in my experience on MSI I refreshed it through the computer itself it will just reinstall everything back like the bloatware so I had to get a media installation tool install it here so that's what happened um i had issues with it um three main issues during during installation but let's stick to build quality first i might have mentioned it already this laptop is built nicely quality wise it's great excellent for 650 i mean get it if you can there's an upgraded version of this for like um it's a 5800h ryzen 7 and a 3060 um don't quote me on that um it's still available for 899 or you can go victus for 999 um it's better in my opinion the screen is better than that to be honest so you, you go check if you have a local micro center or a best buy around um so let's proceed to the windows problem installation problem when i was installing windows 11 on this um it didn't came with a driver the wi-fi driver i don't my router is far i don't have a ethernet cable that's 
and Windows 11 was asking always asking for internet connection so what I did is I made a Google I googled it up and look for a way to bypass the connect connect to the Wi-Fi thing so I am I'm gonna link it down in the description after this um, on how to bypass that because after you bypass that good things will happen um, you're able to um, s use an account locally here on your computer because I don't want my information here on my sister laptop I don't want to know my sister's information and it's a good thing because she can personalize this if she has a Microsoft account she can log it in here so that's the second issue third my third issue was the website I don't like the website um, we have we may have different experiences but for me it was clunky and it yeah go for, go for it try it out it's just a mess in my opinion so if you can just go through with it an hour or so wouldn't that be that much if you're like spending time on this just make sure um you upgrade the ram since it only has eight gigs a single channel by the way so dual channel will boost the performance i didn't have a 32 megahertz ram but for 2400 megahertz is fine it's free anyway from my old laptop it has a hard drive space there with, with a ribbon okay ready for installation you can put a hard drive i had i used my own old hard drive laptop here so i have an extra terabyte and 16 gigs so um and one cool thing too is this the B, remember i said it has a bno the BNO right yeah audio so you can choose a equalizer here um, I did my own setting go ahead and yeah if you buy this go ahead and like go ahead and play with it <laughs> have fun this this came with after I installed one of the drivers the main drivers for this laptop I think it was it came with a wireless LAN or something don't quote me on that just oh um, we can just Google it um, so yeah, um, for six fifty, I would get this. Um, I would get this, even though the screen is not that bright. I don't think that's an issue. Right now, I'm. Yeah, that light directly, it's not too bad actually. Viewing angles are nice, decent, I would say. Um, I hope this would be red, but green is fine. You can turn it off. You can set this in the BIOS to like turn it off after 30 seconds of inactivity or three minutes that's the only options I saw um, I'll try to like look look some other stuff so I can you know maybe we can tur make this red but I don't think so um, for 650 I would get this um, there's the best value for the money in my opinion um, 500 gig SSD Wow I mean uh, that's that's basically a nice SSD storage already. You don't need fast. Of course, you can upgrade to the 970 Evo, but for 500 gigs already for school and work, I don't think you need more. I um, need more power. I mean, not more storage, but more powerful write and read. So, for daily use, the fans are not that loud. When I was installing stuff, it, it was busy earlier. So. Of course, laptops are cranked. It it, it will get loud, loud. It's not perfect, but would would I recommend this to my friends? Of course, yeah. Would I recommend you to get this if your budget is in range? Get this. There, as I have said, there's an upgraded version of this. You can go to the Victus or or the the higher version of this. I forgot. So I like, was like a thousand plus more dollars. So. Would I choose this against my um, Dell? Um, no, I don't game that much. Um, I all I wanted on that was the screen. So this screen is not it's not terrible, but I would I would sacrifice refresh rate for a better color ac accuracy. So that's it. Um, and if that's ten by um, sixteen by ten, this is just nineteen by. 16 by 9 so <laughs> here that's that so let me know in the comments below I'm gonna link stuff that can help you install this 
to install whatever need it is um, a video for that um, full video guide on that installation of RAM from the back um, it's mostly plastic at the top some metal like maybe this one and at the bottom here and that's about it for 650 as I have always said 650 best value thank you for watching